I'm Erin Conrad. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works for You. The latest COVID-19 numbers are in this afternoon. 2,686 Oklahomans have tested positive for COVID-19, pushing the state's total number of infections since last March to 363,000. 32,000 of those are currently active right now. Another 55 Oklahomans have died from COVID-19. Our state has lost 3,140 people during the course of this pandemic. And early research is showing mixed results for how current COVID vaccines protect against virus mutations. Scientists putting blood samples from 20 people who received either the Moderna or the Pfizer shot in a Petri dish with coronavirus mutations. Now, in some cases, the antibodies had no problem fighting off a mutation, but in others, they had a harder time. Researchers say so far the vaccines provide enough protection against current mutations, but there may be concern for future variants. Of course, more research is still needed. And happening now, Governor Kevin Stitt, members of his cabinet and the state health department all excited to unveil the new facility part of the Sooner State's efforts to fight the pandemic. One, two, three. Well, you see it there. The ribbon has been cut for the new Oklahoma Pandemic Center of Innovation and Excellence there in Stillwater. It's also the new home of the area's public health lab. Today was the media's first chance to see that facility. All right, let's head over to Clint for a check of your forecast. Thank you very much, Aaron. A lot of clouds out there this afternoon and staying yeah, a little cool as temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 50s. The best day is going to be tomorrow. Sunshine high temperatures is going to be around 52 for the weekend. A little cool heading into Saturday, Sunday rain chances, especially late in the day, Sunday night into Monday. And then next week, another warm up upper 50s by next Friday. All right, that's a list of the stories making headlines today. Stay with two works for you for the very latest.